Welcome Shuko and Tin Toy fans. This is the Tin Meister and today we're going to talk about the Shuko Electro Porsche 917 made from 1971 to 1975 and the Porsche 970, 917 was one of the most famous race cars Porsche ever made. In 1970 Porsche won the World Manufacturers Championship for the first time and they also won the 1970 edition of Le Mans. It was the first time Porsche ever won Le Mans outright. And since then, they've gone on to win Le Mans more times than any other manufacturer. Here's the car that won Le Mans at that race, the number 23917. Now, our car, for the Schuko car, is based on, I think, the Daytona winning 917, this number one car. So when this car was made, this toy was made by Shuko, Shuko was undergoing very hard times. They were in competition with other manufacturers who were making more realistic cars than Shuko had made in the past. They were also making plastic toys. So these toys from Shuko, these last toys from Shuko, were plastic and much more realistic than previous Shuko toys. So this car was made up until 1975 and Shuko went out of business in 1976. They just couldn't uh, stand the competition from other uh, manufacturers who are making less expensive toys. You can see this, the plastic is, is very well made here on this uh, 917, but it really doesn't have the charm and sophistication of the earlier metal cars that Shuko made. So to give it some of that uh, Shuko-esque kind of uh, special uniqueness, they did a couple things. They made this car very realistic, and they also made it move, and they made it go forward and backward, and they also made it sound somewhat like a real 917. And we'll show you that in a little while. So here are a few more still pictures of the Shuko uh, 917, and we'll get into the instructions in just a moment. The instruction sheet was very small. It only had a few things to say. Uh, how to install the batteries, how to make the uh, uh, car start and idle and go forward and reverse. And here are some still pictures of the box that the Porsche 917 came in. One of the main features was this sound. You press on the accelerator and it made this 917-like uh, engine sound. And here is in the back of the box that shows uh, the World Championship of 69, 70, and 71. So the instructions on the outside of the box say the 917 as an electro-operated car with following technical details. True model of the latest 917 long tail version. A light pressure on the accelerator pedal and the engine starts running and continues running in free gear. Passing down the pedal further, the engine noise increases just as before a real racing event. Control lever for start, stop, forward, reverse, steering wheels, controlled front wheels, and racing tires, removable dummy engine to fit batteries in, and the original fitting out, which I think means the decals and so on. And the length is about one, 11 inches, and the scale is 1 to 16. So here's what's in the box. You got the car, the instruction sheet, and of course the box itself. Yeah, so at about 11 inches long, it's a pretty, pretty sizable car, pretty sizable toy. That made it pretty desirable for kids, but so it was probably fairly expensive in the day. Here's the front of the box. And the side where you put the batteries in, the sound it makes, and the start, uh, the forward, reverse, and neutral. And there's that picture of the... 917 in the pits, probably at Sebring, maybe Daytona, not sure. And the end, the end flap on the other end, the box end is missing from this, from my collection. And there is the 917. Realistic uh, golf decals, realistic uh, colors and shape of all the various components of the body. And this is the long tail version of the Porsche 917. 
And here's those realistic wheels. It says Continental and then Shuko. In the bottom. And there is some writing on the bottom from Shuko. It talks about the 917, about it being a world champion, how much horsepower it had, those sort of things. So this goes 350 kilometers per hour. So that's like almost 200 miles an hour. And there's those going doors. Flip up. You get access to the interior where the accelerator pedal is. And in a moment we'll show you this thing in action. And that little button right there, uh, when you close the door and lock it, it turns the engine off. the other side opens and you can look in and see the steering wheel which operates the front wheels okay so let's put that down and see what's up next let's install some batteries and see how it goes so you got two C cell batteries normal C cells Flip the car over. There's the forward, neutral, and reverse switch. Put it in neutral. There's a little tab there. You push the tab in or to the front of the car. Push it towards the front of the car and lift off the uh, replica motor. And inside is where the batteries would be fitted. As normally, just put the C cells in according to the markings in the battery box. And you reinstall the replica motor. Okay, there we go. Click it in, put it down, let's see what it sounds like. So here we go. Let's put now I got the batteries in, let's see what it sounds like. Open up the door. If you click it down, it locks and the engine stops. So we'll open it up again, start it up. Close the door, but don't lock it. Put it in forward. And there she goes. Neutral. Reverse. Trying to get to that steering wheel. Easier just to turn the wheels. Rev it up. Ready for racing. Well, thanks everyone. That was the Porsche 917 from Shuko, one of the last toys that Shuko ever made. I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Good night everyone. Have a good evening.